Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Apart. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm starting my spring cleaning series and this is part one. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, I'd love for you guys to head on over there and check it out. I have the link down below in my description box. And then if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe as well. We're gonna go ahead and get started in today's video. And the very first thing we're gonna do is flip your mattress. We should definitely be doing this once a year, if not twice. I'm always so forgetful when it comes to this and we have not been sleeping well. Now mine's a pillow top, so I actually can't flip it upside down, but we did spin it around like 180 and we slept so much better the next night. So if you haven't flipped your mattress in a little while, definitely add that to your spring cleaning list. The next thing on my list was to clean my washer. It had just gotten so dirty, so it was time to go ahead and work on it. But first, I wanna thank Jaws for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna work with their glass cleaner first. I love this stuff. I pretty much use it as like an all-purpose cleaner. As you can tell, I was completely out. So I'm gonna go ahead and refill it for you guys so you can see how it works. Um, all you do is get refills so they're not shipping tons of water in boxes and just being wasteful, and you just make your solution at home, which is actually so much fun. So you get the bottle and it has a fill water line and all you do is fill it up to that line and you'll see I use the water really slowly when you're filling this up for like the second or third time sometimes there's still a little bit of product left and it gets bubbly so I just do a little bit of water just real slowly and then all you're gonna do is pop in that pod refill and then screw with the top on and as soon as you do that the product starts going into it and you're gonna see that clear water turn blue it is so much fun to do it. Savannah loves to do it. Chase loves to do it. And I just think it's so much fun. And once you're done, that is it. Then when the product runs low, all you have to do is have refills instead of tons of plastic bottles underneath your kitchen sink. So super cool company. I love them. I'm going to put their link and promo code down below in my description box. But now I'm going to take that Jaws cleaner and I'm just going to spray all of my washer. Like I said, I use this glass one as like an all-purpose cleaner and have had zero issues with it. My washer was disgusting. These are all the before clips. Definitely stay tuned so you can see how it turns out out because I swear it looks brand new now. Now I'm going to grab their rags that they sell to go with the products and just start wiping it out. I didn't even let this soak or just sit. I just went straight into cleaning and it cleaned it up so well. I also love that they have rags um, and they're like color coded. So they go with all the different colors of your bottles. So if you like your stuff to match like me, it just makes cleaning a little more fun, which we all need cleaning to be fun because we do it so often. And my promo code will work on those as well. So definitely check it out, get a set. I seriously do love these rags to go with my Jaws products. They work really well together and you're gonna see some after shots after this just to see how well it did work. So as you can see, I'm just kind of working on the inside of the washer now. It was mainly build up from my softener. And like I said, it cleaned up so easily. I almost hate that I've had such a dirty washer this whole time. I thought it was gonna take me so much longer to clean. That's why I was holding off for spring cleaning. But now I know I can just wipe it out super quick, super easy. So hopefully I can keep that clean from now on. And I also wanted to mention that I would never talk about a product that I don't love. I use Jaws in my my household every single day, multiple times a day. I use it in my kitchen where we eat. I use it in our bathrooms. I use it in our bedrooms. I use it in Savannah's bedroom. I seriously do love these products and I will be using them on camera, off camera, after YouTube. Um, I have fallen in love with them. So I highly suggest if you guys are looking for a new cleaning product, definitely check this out. And like I said, I'll have those links down below in my description box. I 
I went ahead and decided to go ahead and clean off the top of my dryer since I already had my rag out and it was damp from the cleaner. I went ahead, these just tend to get dusty. I'm sure yours do too. So both pieces just kind of needed to be wiped down a little bit. It was nothing bad, but while I'm cleaning in that space, I thought I would go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to show you some clips of how everything turned out. Moving on to the spring cleaning list, the next area I wanted to clean was my headboard. This is upholstered and it's held up really well because it's very, very affordable on Amazon. But when I use dry shampoo, I'm a brunette and so I use one that has a little bit of color in it so it doesn't turn my hair white. And I feel like me leaning against it, I have just a little bit of a dark spot there. I've tried cleaning it with soap and water but it's never come off and I was cleaning my desk chair which has the same problem with my dry shampoo and somebody suggested shampoo and so I'm gonna try that out today and see if it works if it doesn't somebody else mentioned sanitizer like hand sanitizer so I'm gonna try this and if this doesn't work I'll add this into my next like part two cleaning series um, and I'll try to remember to show you guys if it does work just so you can kind of see it before and after but I think the shampoo is a great idea so I hope it works As you can see, I'm just working on getting clean sheets on my bed. I went ahead and washed them since I knew I was gonna be rotating my mattress and cleaning my headboard. Obviously, I do this more than spring cleaning, but while I was in there working around my bed, I wanted to go ahead and get them nice and fresh and just get all of the sheets done and put back on nice since I was gonna be flipping the mattress. And so I'm just gonna work on getting this done real quickly. Keep getting a lot of questions about this comforter. I got it for Christmas and it's from Kohl's. I'm gonna leave the link down below in my description box, but basically they're having a closeout sell on it. So it's just been super, super cheap. It's like half the price that we paid for it for Christmas. So if you guys like it, this is the time to buy because they probably won't be making any more. Um, and I seriously do love it. I feel like it's the perfect amount of weight, especially for summer coming. So like I said, I'll have that link down below. Okay, now we're going to wash the rugs. This is something that I do more than spring cleaning, but I always do it during spring cleaning and then a few other times in the year. I used to be really good about doing it more often, but I got the new Ikea rugs and they just stay so clean and they hold up so well that I actually keep forgetting to throw them in the washer. Um, and they're just in our bathroom, so they're not like by the front or back door where they're getting, you know, super dirty. They're just like when we step out of the shower. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up all the ones from our bathrooms and then throw them in the washer so I can get them nice and clean and just have a fresh start as we hit spring. Once I get those started, we're gonna head on to the next task, which is washing the walls. So I know some of you wash like your entire wall. I do not have the best paint. Um, it's just our builder's paint they chose. One day we're gonna have to paint our whole house, but I don't even wanna think about that day. Until then, I just grab um, my dry erasers or my magic erasers and I do have it cut into the four, so I just won't go through it as quickly, but I wet it down. And the main areas that get dirty are like corners. I think kids just grab the wall when they take a corner. And it's definitely worse on Savannah's side of the house where the kids are versus like my beauty room. So I like to just go around the corners and go ahead and give those a scrub or where I see fingerprints. Um, around like light switches is another place just because your hand kind of hits it. So I don't clean my entire wall, but anywhere the walls are dirty, I do like to just go ahead and wipe them down. Here is all that's left of my magic eraser. And now we're gonna head on to cleaning the baseboards. This is something I dread doing. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Jaws hardwood cleaner. Um, I feel like that just works best. I always use it even on like my painted wood. I feel like it works really well. 
I seriously do dread this test, so I really only do it once a year. I should do it more often. Real quickly, I'm just gonna show you how to do the refill one more time if you missed it. Like I said, this is super sped up, but that's it. It's super quick. I think the first clip seems like it takes a while, but it really doesn't. But I'm just gonna go around my house and clean every baseboard that I can see. Now, I don't like move out large pieces of furniture. I'm just not that into deep cleaning. Um, I do rearrange a lot, so when I do pull furniture out to rearrange, I'll be sure to clean those baseboards and vacuum underneath it. But when spring cleaning comes, I just go around it. So you can just see I'm going from every side of the house. They were pretty bad. I will say my like living room and kitchen area wasn't as bad, but our bedrooms were pretty dusty, especially like behind the doors. Um, so if you haven't cleaned your baseboards in a while, put it on your list because they need it. <laughs> Okay, while I finish up cleaning all these baseboards, I wanted to remind you that this is a cleaning series, so there's gonna be a part two as well. There's also gonna be a video where I'm cleaning my front porch and back porch a deep cleaning because they need it, and then I'm gonna spring decorate out there just to freshen it up. I'm also gonna be filming how to fake a clean house. Just lots of content coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed, and also make sure you click that bell and then check all notifications. YouTube is being funny, and even if you're subscribed to me, they're not showing you all my videos so definitely make sure you click that bell and click all so you get all the notifications because I have so many good videos coming out. Now we're gonna vacuum the tops of the cabinets. It has been a long time since I have done this. It's whatever my last like deep kitchen cleaning video was. <laughs> I think it's been a while. Um, I thought it was gonna be terrible, but I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that bad at all. I feel like my house gets pretty dusty, so I didn't know what to expect, and it was pretty clean up there. I will say the cabinets closer to like my back door over there were just a little bit worse, but I was pleasantly surprised, so if you're gonna skip out <laughs> on one of these chores, I'd say this is the one. It could have went longer, so I'm glad to know that in the future that I haven't like neglected it too bad. While noticing how clean the top of my cabinets were, I did however notice how dirty the cabinet doors were. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on wiping down the cabinets. Um, this doesn't take long and this is something I should do more often. Um, when you have white cabinets, it just shows so much more. I know our cabinets probably all get just as dirty, but some things hide it better. So what I like to do is just go ahead and get one of my jaws rags wet and I like to wring it out just so it's kind of damp. And then I'll go around with my either kitchen cleaner that's like a degreaser or you could use the wood floor cleaner because it's you know painted wood just whatever your preference is I went ahead and used my kitchen cleaner just since it is like a degreaser and there's like food buildup on them and then I just take that wet rag and just go around wiping them all off I like to pre-spray it just so it kind of does soak in a little bit I feel like it just works better that way and it's easier than carrying my bottle from you know cabinet to cabinet since I already have to move my chair around so I just feel like this is the fastest way to get it done. Now I'm gonna start working on the bottom cabinets. These are always worse, which makes sense just because they get touched more, kids can touch them, dogs can touch them, food kind of splatters. So I'm just doing the same thing. I've already have the product sprayed on them, so I just have that same wet rag and I'm just wiping them down. Um, just going from like one side to the next. Here in a second, you're gonna see me clean the trash can drawer. That drawer gets so much dirtier on the outside and I really don't understand why it's not like we're throwing trash on the outside of the 
drawer, but you'll see me work on that one just a little bit longer than the rest. We're gonna stay in the kitchen just a little bit longer so I can disinfect my countertops. I was just walking barefoot on them. Plus, it's been a while. I'm really bad about actually using a disinfectant on my countertops. I'm always using like non-toxic cleaners, but that's what I love about Jaws Disinfectant. Now, this is the only one of their products that's like not non-toxic, but it works. When we're wanting to disinfect or sanitize any area of our house, bathrooms, toilets, kitchen countertops, we want it to work. And so this is one of my favorite products from them just because I know it's actually gonna clean, it's actually gonna sanitize. I can rest assured knowing it's been done. So if you guys don't have this one, definitely look into it because I seriously do love it. What you do is you spray your countertops or whatever you want to disinfect and you let it set for 10 minutes so you know it's working. Go read a book to your kid, go put your feet up, watch a YouTube video, do what you gotta do and then come back and wipe it off and you know it's nice and clean and sanitized. Now we're gonna work on polishing the floors. So if you're just looking for a daily cleaner, the Charles Hardwood Floor Cleaner is an amazing one, but I'm gonna be using Quick Shine. And this is something that I do not do daily. I do not do this monthly. This is just something you wanna do periodically. Um, so like I said, if you're looking for like a daily wood floor cleaner or weekly, definitely stick to the jaws. This is not something you wanna do all the time and you'll see that after you see the process. So basically you need to vacuum your floors really, really, really well get every crumb every dust get everything off of them so you're gonna see me just vacuum all my floors the best I can getting as much as I can off of them Don't be alarmed if you see that head on my dining room table. Savannah had asked for that um, for Christmas. She loves doing hairstyles and playing with her dolls. And that was just an easy way for her to learn. She watches YouTube videos and learns like all sorts of braids and hairstyles. And so that's just a mannequin head that clips onto anything. And she'd been over there working on it. So that's why it's attached to my table. Um, but I'm gonna vacuum just real quickly this dining room and kitchen. And then we're gonna be moving on to the second step of the floors. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a mop. This is not my e-cloth mop, just because I'm gonna be using product. This is just a normal mop with um, like a microfiber um, mop head. So I'm just getting it wet and I'm gonna wring it out just like I would if I was gonna clean with water. Um, just kind of like even how I did the kitchen cabinets. Sometimes I really like getting things wet before I use the product just to kind of dilute it a little bit. And then I'm gonna head into my living room and I'm actually only gonna do a small portion of this because the best time to do this is at night so what you're gonna do with the product is make like an S shape across the floor I went ahead and did this whole section so I don't have to keep grabbing my bottle and then you're gonna take the mop and basically just mop it and smooth all of that out and you're gonna see a huge difference as I get closer the floors get shiny um, it just takes smudges away it fills in all those like scratches from George but the key with this is do it at night or before you leave the house because the bottle says it takes 45 minutes to 60 minutes for it to dry and you don't want to walk on it I made the mistake once and did it and we walked on it and like our shoe prints were like stuck in it because it's kind of like a polish so definitely mop and then go to bed mop or leave the house I don't feel like you need the full 45 60 minutes but just to be safe I do it at night now so I literally just did this section and told nobody to go near it for an hour <laughs> so it works really really well you can find it at like Walmart or Target but this is not something you want to do daily this is definitely just like a once or twice a year thing or when your floors just look dull if you're needing a daily cleaner definitely check out like the Jaws hardwood floor cleaner mm -hmm. 
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you got some cleaning motivation for your spring cleaning. And I also want to thank Jaws for sponsoring today's video. I just love their products. I love the way they make my house look and smell. So definitely click on that link down below and use my promo code and get you some amazing cleaning products. Um, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Make sure you're not missing all those future videos because I have so many good ones coming out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.